Hey friends of Keycloak, there's Nico is back. Have you ever wondered about the Keycloak client access types, confidential, public and bearer only, and when to use which? So in this video, I will explain it to you. Stay tuned. I often get asked how to configure Keycloak clients properly and to set the access type to which value. So let's have a look to the different values. Let's create a client. Um, let's create a default client, call it my client. And the default access type is the, the public one. And public access types, clients with a public access type are um, clients like a typical single page application where we deliver the complete um, application code, uh, the JavaScript code to the browser of your user. And um, public clients are able to initiate a login flow. And um, the typical um, standard flow is the authorization code flow, as you might know. And um, with the um, authorization code, a client is able to uh, get the access token for the user from the server, from the Keycloak server. And with uh, public um, clients, um, it's very important to configure the valid redirect URIs uh, properly and to only allow um, um, the paths and the, the URIs from where the user is allowed to log in, that's not um, being misused. So um, public clients don't have any secret to use um, through this um, authorization code uh, exchange for the token. And um, because if you deliver a secret uh, to the user's browser, it's not a secret anymore, it's public. And uh, this is because um, that, that's why uh, public clients don't have a secret. Um, also, public clients um, are not able to have a service account because there's no secret available, of course. And um, yeah, if you have a look at the, the top, there's no um, option for um, getting a secret back of the configuration. Um, yeah, public clients like single page application can initiate a login flow, but don't have the ability to store um, a secret in a, in a secure space. And therefore it's um, important to configure the valid reader here, your eyes um, very properly. Well, let's switch the client access type to confidential. Confidential clients are typical backend applications, which don't deliver their secrets to um, the user's browser and um, uh, clients and, and applications which can communicate with Keycloak through a backend or back channel um, connection and where they can exchange uh, the secret information. So confidential clients can initiate a login flow and when they get the authorization code back from Keycloak from the redirect, they can um, exchange the authorization code um, together with their client ID and secret to the valid access token of the user. So if you switch to the confidential client and save your settings, go back to the top of the client settings, you have this credentials tab. And on this credentials tab, you have um, the secret which you can use for your client. Um, there are also um, some other client authentication methods, um, but the standard uh, the regular one is the client ID and secret. And um, you can use this uh, most of times. Um, additionally, when having a confidential access type, you have such things like uh, service accounts, you can switch them uh, on and off, and uh, some other things like the, the authorization. This is only available for confidential clients. This is not available for public clients. And finally, let's switch to uh, the bearer access type the bearer only access type. And as soon as we switch the access type to bearer only, you can see all the options, the redirect URIs, the service accounts disappears because bearer only clients are not able to initiate a login flow. So users can't um, log in themselves on a client um, which are bearer only. Bearer only clients are typical backend services and APIs, which only accept uh, requests uh, which uh, are already authenticated, which contain already a token, whether in the, the request headers, uh, in the cookie um, 
are wherever. So bearer only clients um, can't initiate login flows. They um, have to provide a um, token already in the request. And um, generally, it's a good practice to configure bearer only clients in Keyclock, but that's not a must because um, a bearer only client just looks up the public um, the public key of um, the private public key pair to validate a signature of a, um, a token and um, therefore uh, no configuration is uh, needed. So look up, looking up the, the public key um, is possible for every client. Uh, no client has to be configured. That's just uh, for the sake of completeness. You can configure bearer only clients in Keyclock. So hopefully now you have a better understanding about the Keyclock client access types and when to use which one of the three options. Um, if you have managed any um, experience, no matter of bad or good, um, with the Keyclock client access types, put in the comments, tell me about it. And uh, don't forget to give me some thumbs up for this video, subscribe to my channel and share it wherever you like. And um, yeah, hope to see you next time in the next video. And until then, stay safe. Bye.